On one hand, we have Samsung's latest and greatest for 2015, and on the other, we have the smartphone that it's trying to beat. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now here at MWC 2015 in Barcelona, and this is a quick hands on comparison of the Galaxy S6 versus the iPhone 6. Samsung just spent the last couple of hours comparing the Galaxy S6 to devices like the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, and the reasons why are clear. Apple sold 75 million iPhones, matching all of Samsung's smartphones for the first time ever last quarter, so Samsung really needs to do something about it. When you see them side by side, there are just as many similarities as there are differences between these two. Looking at them, it's hard to tell them apart from the side or even from the bottom, something which we know will gather some mixed publicity for Samsung. Even their aluminum construction, 64-bit proprietary processors, fingerprint scanners, non-removable batteries, and lack of expandable storage could easily tell you that these both devices are siblings, but uh, their similarities end there. The Galaxy S6 has a larger 5.1-inch display compared to the 4.7 inches on the iPhone 6, almost 200 more pixels per inch in its Quad HD display, three times more RAM, twice the megapixel count in its primary camera, optical limit stabilization and better lens aperture compared to the iPhone 6, and even four times more pixels in the front-facing camera with far better aperture compared to the iPhone 6 again. The Galaxy S6 is almost 5mm taller, 3mm wider, and barely 0.1mm thicker than the iPhone 6, something that makes all the sense in the world when you have a phone with wireless charging and a much larger battery as well. Even the construction of the Galaxy S6 looks more premium with its glass-on-glass -glass aluminum back compared to the ugly antenna carvings of the iPhone 6. Samsung has clearly raised the bar when it comes to the design of the Galaxy S6 for the most part, but that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is positive. The Galaxy S6 is the worst fingerprint magnet that we've ever seen by far, a problem which the iPhone 6 user doesn't really need to suffer, at least in the back. That being said, both devices feel premium in the hand, and we'll leave it up to our full review to determine how well these materials last, but overall, you don't seem to have a lesser phone on either hand here. Probably the only disappointing part of the Galaxy S6 is that TouchWiz couldn't look more similar to its predecessor. Surely the company has invested in making it more intuitive, but it looks like a rushed product where skewmorphism is more predominant in the home screen and then gone in the settings menu, a lot of inconsistencies. iOS 8 may not necessarily be everybody's cup of tea, but Apple's flattered design is more consistent and available throughout the UI, even though that's not necessarily better. So far, our first impressions of the Galaxy S6 is that it's a far better contender to the iPhone than any previous Galaxy ever was, but our full review should tell you more. We have more coverage of MWC 2015 coming up, so make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, you can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, I am Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now here at MWC 2015 in Barcelona, there is a lot more coming up.